Welcome back guys, in this video I will show you how to use Google Slides on laptop as a complete beginner. So in here, just click this button on the right top corner and then go to Slides. So you will see here uh, a template gallery but also you can start with a blank presentation. But for this video, let's use a template gallery since this will help you a lot. There are a lot of uh, templates here depending on the purpose of your presentation. I'll use uh, this recipe book template. Alright, so uh, let us first focus on manipulating the text of uh, your presentation. So, for example, in here, we have the title, Simple Snacks. There are a lot of different themes in here, but let's not use that because we've already chosen our template. So, for the title, uh, make sure to select the text. Uh, you can change the font. So, from Lato, I'll go for a different uh, font, a Brill Fat Face. Uh, and then, you can also bold and unbold the text. You can italicize it. You can underline it. And you can also change the font color or the text color like for example what I did here but I'll bring it back to a white font color and then you can also highlight it using this tool but if you don't want a highlight you can click transparent And then you can actually uh, link a uh, a link, for example, uh, YouTube link or any type of link of a website to your text. So like for example, in here, I'm searching for simple snacks. And for example, I want to show this video in the presentation. I can just simply uh, copy the link of this video or the other way is to click share and then copy the link and then i'll click make sure you select it and then i'll click this icon in the toolbar and then i'll paste the link in here then click apply so i'll exit that first so when you click the link you will easily go to the youtube video and then if you want to remove that you can just simply click it and remove link like so now let's go to a different kind of text so in here um, you can still manipulate it using the tools that we used a while ago and then uh, let's try other tools like for example align you can left align center right align and justified you can also put it in the upper part of the text box at the center or at the lower part of the text box you can also use numbering or bullets in here so for example let's use uh, numbering for this one this is good when you are listing different things so this is how it looks like and then you can also use bullet if the sequence doesn't matter but you want to list some things so you can use a bullet all right so uh, another tool that you can use for the text is to move the indent so for example in here you can adjust it like so this is good when you are uh, 
when you have a paragraph so and for the text box you have this um, tool where you can change the color of the text box it serves like a background color of the text and then you can also add a border for example like this one i changed the color of the border of the text box and you can uh, choose a different weight if you want a thicker um, borderline you can choose that and the style of your borderline we have here like a broken line with some dots for example Uh, let's try another uh, type of text. So in here, uh, let's try a different font. And then let's try adding some elements. So in here, you can insert text box, another text box, if you want to add some text. And then I'm just changing the font color. And then just type any sentence or statements you want to add in your presentation and then i'm just going to center this and then another thing i want to include is a picture so for example i'll use this so when you insert it you can resize the picture the image so that it looks decent in the presentation there you go and then aside from text you can also add shapes to spice up your uh, presentation so there are a lot of shapes here that you can choose from but i'll choose the rectangle for now so that's how you do it and then you can change the uh, color of the shape you can change the border color and the weight of the border and then to you have this right click order send backward so in that way it serves like a frame for the picture and then another thing that uh, you can add is a line so it depends on what you need but in here I'm just like adding a regular line you can also uh, change how it looks by changing the color the weight and the type of line but in here I'm just gonna use the regular line and then just rearranging this So like that I also change the color back into white so you can always change how the elements look in your Google Slides presentation. Um, there are also other elements that you can add. There are tables, charts, audio, video. You can check our other videos for those kind of um, features of Google Slides. But for now, I'll show you uh, how to use or add the table. So here it is. And then you can also uh, change how it looks. For example, I'll change the border color to a red one. And then I'll change the thickness of the border. So there. Another thing you can add is a chart. So depending on what kind of chart do you like to add or is useful for your presentation, you can choose any type of uh, chart so in here I'm using this pie chart
Now, if you want to change the theme, just go to the toolbar and go to theme. And then you can choose any templates. And then all of your contents will follow the new theme that you chose. You can also undo or redo by clicking these buttons right here. You can also uh, rearrange the sequence of your slides by just gliding the slides over. And then you can share the access to your uh, presentation. Just click that and input the email. You can choose whether they're going to be the viewer or commenter or editor. Another thing you can do is you can download it, uh, PPT or Microsoft PowerPoint or PDF. These are widely used formats for presentations. So if you're going to send this to someone, you can also copy the link but uh, just make sure that uh, you have shared the access to anyone with the link so that when you send the link to them they will be able to open it and that's it that's how you use uh, google slides as a beginner thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel